<laughs> good to hear. I had a very, very interesting uh, official phone call <clears throat> with an investigator from my state's licensing board. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, post a few moments that I recorded from my end of that call because I was able to put him on speakerphone. And it does turn out that uh, even a PhD psychologist could lose their license as a licensed marital and family therapist if they are having uncertified individuals do the therapy hours. You can be supervising a therapist. I found out to my shock and dismay. You can be supervising a therapist in your practice and bill under your name to the insurance companies, uh, and I think that's too bad because I asked him if there is a path, a paper trail, if you are later going to be involved um, with a malpractice case whereby you can prove that on paper it was uh, provable <laughs> that someone else was doing the therapy. Now, the reason that this is getting to be important right now for our children is that there's online companies, I should speak grammatically and say there are online companies now advertising training courses in affirmation gender therapy and they are doing it online and they are pretending that this leads to licensure and to actual credentials and it doesn't. Now one of the other parts that I wanted to just tell about Nettie after the surgery was that at that time Nettie thought that he wanted men to be attracted to him so that he could be the female in an, inter, uh, in an intimate relationship that was heterosexual as he wrote in his diaries, he wanted the gaze and the interest of heterosexual men. Uh, and once after the surgeries, I was dropping off her children um, at a place called Connecticut Muffins, which might still be there. And he was sitting outside on a bench in a mini skirt and these high boots that came up above his knee so he had that sexy you know five inches of his thigh uh, open to the wind <laughs> while our five-year-old and eight-year-old were approaching him and he had a guy that I would describe as a little sleazy looking chatting him up and it was funny because what I remember about it is that it was Passover so I guess that would have been Passover of 1997 and I thought oh no we shouldn't have arranged this drop-off in front of Connecticut muffins because this is Passover and I didn't pack any kosher for Passover kiffles. 
and they're going to want to go in and get something. Oh dear, that might have been one of my mistakes. One of my mistakes might have been trying to keep everything together as that Jewish mother. I want to remind everyone to go outside and take a walk. Take care of your mind-body connection and be well.